Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is I'm Gary Kay, and I'm going to be doing a cooking video here today for you. Uh, it's a pretty simple recipe. It's a sandwich. Now some of you may be familiar with the website where I found this recipe. It's called OnTheFiringLines.com. Came across this sandwich recipe. It's pretty basic. It's called the Shooter's Sandwich. The Shooter's Sandwich. Uh, basically you get yourself a nice loaf of bread and I've already uh, painstakingly cut off the top and hollowed it out. You need some steak, and this is some ribeye steak. I'm not sure if I'll be using it all. There were three, three steaks. I cut a lot of the uh, fat off of it, and I have it marinating in that marinade that I used not too long ago for the beef ribs. This recipe calls out for horseradish and some mustard, and not that I don't mind that, but some of the other folks here aren't real fans, but they were very happy with the flavor of this marinade so I figured I'd try it this way so it's not I'm not making it the exact way that it's listed but uh, it should come out alright I, I suppose and you need some onions and mushrooms it calls for shallots I went with onions and mushrooms and I'm going to be cooking those up cooking them down uh, in some salt pepper uh, margarine garlic olive oil and some Worcestershire sauce alright so, and uh, I've never made this before so Good luck to me. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, the first step is well on its way. That is the mushrooms and onions with the olive oil, margarine, salt, pepper, Worcestershire, garlic, uh, all go into town there. And basically, you just cook that till it's uh, really soft and and uh, mushy. You know how it cooks down. The onions get uh, nice and soft and translucent, and the uh, mushrooms start soaking up all the nice juices and that will become the layer that goes in between the steaks so and if you oh if you could just smell what I'm smelling right now it smells delicious onions and mushrooms and Worcestershire sauce garlic and olive oil I mean that's just you can't go wrong with that those flavors I mean that's just fantastic so come back again in just a second I'll be getting the steak cooking okay the mushrooms are sitting right over here. That was all the meat. Looks like I, for the size of loaf of bread I have, this should do plenty. I'll have uh, one of the steaks and some of this on the bottom, and then I'll the other steak and this other piece here to cover the top with the mushrooms in the middle. And I think I'll just gonna let this marinate for the rest of the day and we'll cook that up some other time, but it's sitting in that good marinade that I made the other day. These are almost done. Just needed to have them uh, pink inside, and I think that's about right, right there. So I'll take these off the heat. But uh, that's the meat. Next step is I'm going to start building the layers inside the bread. I'll be right back. Okay, I have the loaf of bread on a couple uh, different pieces of aluminum foil because you're going to have to wrap this up really good. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's a steak in there. And now I'm going to scoop in the mushroom layer. Juice and all, didn't matter. It's all going to get in there really good. Just get this pushed around. Oh, that's looking mighty tasty. Okay. So there, I'm going to get those pushed down in there, because I have to cap this, I have to cap this with the other and who says I've never made puzzles? Look at those pieces go right in there like they're, they were made to do it. All right. All right. So there you go. Now, then what you do, all hot like this, is we cover it. Make sure I have this right. Have this, oh, there we go. And we're going to Wrap this up really snug.
just like this. How they said to do it, well, they used some wax paper first. First wax paper, string, then aluminum foil. But I have no, I have string, but I don't have any wax paper. I thought we did, but we were out. And because they like three layers, three layers of material, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this in three layers of aluminum foil. All right, now, now the waiting begins, because what I have to do is what I'm gonna show you in a second. Way down here, if you can see this shiny stuff, that's the sandwich. And I quote from the recipe, wrap the whole thing up as I have, uh, in the foil and then smoosh flat under a heavy cutting board there's a cutting board there not too heavy but then I put a cast iron my Dutch oven cast iron lid on that and then it says so smoosh flat under a heavy cutting board and as many weights as you can find well I figured uh, this sandwich needs a little education so uh, got some uh, got the dictionary physician physicians uh, desk reference Gonna throw the history of the world at it, some geology and a little geography, and that should make that thing come out really tasty. Uh, you know, probably that sandwich is gonna be smarter than uh, everybody in this house, plus most people who ever want to bite into that thing once once all this gets in there. All right, so in a few hours, uh, it's basically what it takes because it says uh, uh, keep it in a reasonably cool, dry place. This is right now cool since the stove is all off. Don't refrigerate for at least six hours, or preferably overnight. So that's going to sit there for quite a while under these weights, and it's all going to get smashed, 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 all those flavors coming together. Okay, well I do have to say that those weights did smash this down quite well. So let's go ahead and... Open this up. So there you go. Okay, folks, there is the finished product. You can see that it did get smashed down quite well, and I only did it for the minimum six hours. It talks about doing this, keeping all that weight on there uh, completely overnight. Because this again, this sandwich, this shooter sandwich as it's called, came from back in the you know European days where they'd have those big hunting uh, parties at those estates. And these sandwiches, the, uh, you know, the people working at the estate in the kitchen would make these sandwiches up the day before and so they just sit and get weighted down and smashed all night long and when the hunters went out the next morning they'd have these sandwiches uh, to take along with them when they got hungry thank you very much I hope uh, you guys try this yourselves could be great when you guys go out for a full day of shooting make some of these up the night before everybody out there be good be safe God bless America and we'll talk to you all later